We'll make it a 32-team G League with Mexico City and Ignite. Yeah, and it gives more guys opportunities too. You know, exactly. we talked about guys going to Europe. That was a nice big to big drop off right there. And got a nice floater off. Well, pinballing around McClung in transition for Mays for Great the pass. flush. Two hands for safety. I heard Two hands for say. safety. Hey. And right here, Mac being a floor general. Nice little shovel pass to his, to his uh, backcourt mate. And Mays, two hands for safety. He had played in two games with San Antonio and then kind of right around Halloween knocked knees with Jaden McDaniels of Minnesota. There's the three going in for Julian Champagny. One thing I can tell you, getting a knee to knee, a knee to the quad are some of the worst injuries in basketball. Does not feel good. At all. Goldwire finishing through physicality. Yeah, nice finish right there. He playing off two feet using his put pivots right here. You see him probing, play off two feet, step through, and one. He was 13 to 27, about 48% on right side threes. So he's kind of correcting the equation here. Hey, he know he he understands the job. <laughs> it's a bunch of NBA scouts and GMs here. He got to show the improvement. On that two way with Philadelphia and Delaware. The Blue Coats up 17. The odds are looking real good when he's on your team. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Put him on notice, baby. 17 points, two games to go. Sets up Justin Smith with the power flush. Right here, another two hand. Everybody's up there. Champagne testing Johnson. And Man, one. one. This is good for Julian Champagne. So you want to crowd someone, you want to dribble and do all that? No, I'm going to crowd you, I'm going to make you go by me. You're not about to set me up for a three-pointer. But a nice look for Matt. 22 for Delaware, mm. down to 20. Murphy with the left hand. Well, it's funny, last year he came in, you know, off of the injury, trying to get his legs back. And this year you can see he's much more explosive, much more confident with himself. Um, and, and just taking what the defense gives him. You know, he's a veteran player. It's something to say for that. Like, he, he's a winner, and he brings a lot to the table for our team. Yeah, this team is what Kev told me before the game, the number one team in the league in the next few weeks. But what does this do for a guy like him who's still kind of on the cusp of being right there but kind of undersized but still needs to develop a few things? He will play um, in the NBA, coming off the bench, being a spark offensively, making plays, and you can see he's out there guarding well. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's interesting because guys obviously can do more. It's hard to teach guys in a losing environment. You know, <laughs> obviously, we're not we're not a great uh, in terms of a record team right now, but over the last five or six games, we've shown the growth. I mean, the NBA record uh, year 2010. Uh, for most threes made in a game. I made nine. I think Jason Richardson made eight. It was always a battle. It's a nice move right there. A little veer and one off the glass. That's a tough shot to make. Out of way. Goes inside. Johnson. There's the assist to Murphy. Right. There's been a lot of interior passing. Big to big. Nice pass right there. And they just look a little bit different in the second half. It looked like they got a little more pep in their step. That's for mm. sure, but a potential four-point play for Charlie Brown Jr. Great penetration right there. Nice little driving kick to the three-point line. Highlight a great example of that. Keldon Johnson, who spent a lot of his time here with the Austin Spurs, he's been very vocal as a player saying how much it's helped his transition into the NBA. This broadcast one says we take a look at the Murphy dunk, and mm. this is powerful on Foster. Long, strong take, hits the deck and finishes with the left. That is tough. That's quickness. You see a version of that. So you see. Tough light right there. That's knowing angles. And then you finish it with the left. Ah. Now that can't happen. You can't score a layup and then the, the other team comes down and get yeah. a, a backdoor layup. The lead is 11 for Delaware. Roddy Pierce. Oh, good pass. And a great baseline cut by Patrick McCaw. That was a Roddy dime Pierce. right there. The last thing I would say is just uh, not only defending at a high level, you got to be able to make shots. This is a make and, make and miss lead. I know that sounds very cliche. Mm, that's nasty. But you got to be able to make open shots. This was nice. A little jelly. Ah, excuse me. That's what we used to say on the playground. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Let that guard come off, and then 
Once he passes you, that's when you roll to that basket. Save oh. it, Lee. To oh. the rim! Oh, a real rim rocker! Watch your head. Post the cold, split the defense, and I wish you would jump. That was nasty. And Barlow made a business decision exactly. right there. Staying active on that glass, being that big grown man in that paint. And being right a grown man again, <laughs> this time defensively. Came the save and Lee drive and finish. Lee. Brown with four. The runner, great touch. Ooh, he had a great night. Defense is going to try to run you off the line because you've made five or six from three. So great play by Charlie Brown. Great cut. Baseline cut by Shondi Brown. Jr. Barlow hands it back to Hall. Inside Barlow with the left hand. That's a great finish. Lee against Barlow again. Stepping back for a triple. That's tough. Johnson getting the foul. Nice move. Got him off balance. A three-pointer away from winning it. You got to give him a lot of credit. He started off, had a tough out, and he figured it out. Game over. Game time. The final score. Delaware wins 127-107.